Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? Uh, it's always cool that ABC's doing that fun and games thing they've been doing for a while, and I really like some of the incarnations they've been doing. Especially, I remember so much fun uh, Thursday nights. Uh, at 9 o'clock, they have Battle Network Stars. At 10 o'clock, they have Gong Show on, which was great. I don't think they, do, they don't do that anymore. Um, and they brought back some other shows. Pressure Lock, I saw a few times. The Card Sharks, I like. I didn't care for... And they always had, like, Family Feud. You know, they've always had that. I really... I dug Match Game. I really didn't care too much for, uh... That $25,000 pyramid or 100000 I didn't think my, that one guy was that interesting host. I didn't care for... I really didn't care for it to tell the truth. I couldn't stand... Um... Uh, Anthony Anderson and his mom on it. It was they're too obnoxious. Um, and then they had Holy Mojo, which was interesting. I watched some shows of that. I mean, for the most part, it, it's cool bringing these shows back. And uh, but who wants to be a millionaire? And Jimmy Kimmel, nah. That, that show's already in syndicated. It's nothing really special, I don't think. And it's cool they brought back uh, the League of Link. Now they got a show at ten o'clock Monday night. So I'm going to bed. I'm not staying up to watch it. And they've been reviving some game shows on and um, prime time for a while. Some are good, some some are good, and some just don't work. Well, I was pleasantly surprised. I was swimming, I was going to watch the animation domination. I mean, the last two weeks, and they had I guess they had the World Series. It's really weird because the season of sports, because of what's going on, it hasn't been very good. You know, I mean, well, I mean, it's just not the same. You know. So I didn't even know that was the World Series was on. No, uh, I didn't watch it. I turned to ABC just to see what was on. Supermarket Sweep was brought back, which I thought was really cool. Cause I used to watch that show. For a while, it seemed like it wasn't that long ago, but I guess it was a long time ago because I work, you know, you know, with work and stuff like that. I wouldn't be able to see it, but I remember watching on Lifetime from like, it was like, I ran from like 5 to 6. You know, supermarket sweep at five thirty and shop to you drop it. Five shop to you drop it. Five thirty. They were fun shows to watch. I didn't mind them. Anyway, they brought back supermarket sweep. Leslie Jones is hosting it, and I Leslie Jones is the biggest problem. She's just too annoying, too loud. And then someone's saying it's not really a not much a family show. There's too much. She does too much cursing or risque language. So they just play do the show because Drew Carey's a comedian. But the Price is Right, uh, it's not about him upstaging everyone. You know, it's about, you know, the contestants and the game they play. That's that's what does the show. I mean, the host isn't supposed to overshadow everything or try to mug for the camera so much that it's all about them. Um, and it seemed like on the first the first game, there's two games. You know, there, it's an hour long, there's two half hours. Two games on there. First game seemed like she used two buy stores, Team Biscuit, too. Um, that being said, I mean, it's you just too obnoxious. And they were trying to put some more comedy in it, which isn't needed. Just make it a regular show. It, I mean, it was good enough on its own. It doesn't need any extra stuff. That's like, with that Joker's Wild, I like I like Stoop Dog, but I think they had the, the whole thing wrong. With They did Joker's Wild. It was late night on... on TBS or TNT a while, but I think I thought one or two episodes. It just wasn't the same thing. Just make it the regular game show. The game show is interesting of it is you don't have to try to upstage everything or try to be super, super funny. That being said, I, they had some new things I liked. Uh, they had something where they highlighted um, a grocery store worker and uh, they said what they did, you know, above and beyond, you know, Call of Duty or something very kind or very generous. And uh, they they highlight them on the show and say, you know, congratulate this person. They give them $2,000 and, and a sweatshirt thing. But, I mean, that's really nice. I, I don't mind that. Um, the show itself is, is still pretty good. It's still interesting. But, I mean, it's just Leslie Jones is too just overpowering and obnoxious on the show. I don't really, I don't know. She's okay. But she did give some history to the show. She said she tried to... Uh, Audition for the show. I don't know if you, she said that was her key to getting famous or something like that, being on the game show, which, you know, that's cool. I mean, you see some people who actually had to start on game shows like Schwarzenegger was on Danny Game. I think Burt Reynolds was on Danny Game. Well, he was on Gunsmoke, too. 
don't know if he did Gunsmoke before Dan. I can't remember. But uh, <clears throat> Sumar Sweep is still good. It's just, I just think she's a little bit too overbearing. Um, but the show's still okay. I give it a 6 out of 10. It'd just be better if you just have a host, just be a host. You know, I mean, don't at least be interesting. Like, I mean, I think that Michael Strahan's a little bit too boring for that show, for the Pyramid show. But just make a regular guy. I mean, Drew Carey is perfect on The Price is Right. You know, he said that, Bob Barker said that his first um, choice for the show was Rosie O'Donnell. And everyone started booing. That would have been awful. But Drew Carey's perfect at the game, Joe Host. Because he had a, I don't know, could you guys help me out? He had a primetime game show that came before that, which was great on CBS for like a year or two. I remember watching it. I can't remember what the heck the show was called, though. Give me a little help on that, because I don't remember what the show was called. I think he used to tape or something. Just like Guy Fieri used to have Minute to Win and stuff like that. That was a fun show. But I wish they'd bring back uh, Battle Network Stars and uh, Gong Show, at least Gong Show. But, I mean, I give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, maybe Leslie Jones will tone it down a little bit. I mean, just she's just a little too overbearing. Um, it kind of, it just seems like she wants to upstage everyone. Or just make the show all about her. I mean, I know she has a history of the show saying she wanted to be a contestant. Now she's hosting the show. I don't, I don't blame her for being excited. There's nothing wrong with being excited. Just be a normal host. You know? So, I hope you like this review, everybody. And let me know in the comments. I might, some people might be mad at me and stuff like that. But, I mean, I think that's the truth. Um, just like Jane Lynch. I mean, Jane Lynch, I mean... She wasn't mean like Ann Robinson was, but I mean, she does it tongue in cheek. But I mean, she was, she has a perfect combination of comedy in that. She's not trying to upstage, she's the host. With Leslie Jones, like, rah, 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 rah. And doing rah, 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 all the time. Just, you know, just be a host. You know, I know it's her stick, but I don't think it really worked with Supermarket Sweet. You know, but I hope you like this review, everybody. Until next time, please. Take care of my legion. Like I said, it seemed like it was just... It's weird. I mean, my memory of the Super Mario seemed like it was just yesterday, but it was probably in the early 90s when I used to watch that show. You know, but I used to... You know, I enjoyed it. Uh, that and Shop T Drop. May I bring up Shop T Drop? I wonder what they do. Um, I guess that was a show that started in the 60s, which I didn't know about that. I never saw that one. Um, Might need to look on YouTube see what the original show's like. Just like Funny You Should Ask. I didn't know that was originally an old show a long time ago. Um, but I wonder what they do with, like, I mean, it's a fully stocked. They show a little bit of the building. Of, they have, like, a three-minute uh, video of it on ABC, you know, before the show started. Um, I just wonder what they do with, like, the leftover produce and stuff like that. I mean, I wonder if they give it the, they have to, they can't let all that food go to waste, you know. But I like the show. I mean, well, the show's okay. Maybe, I mean, sometimes, whenever Conan O'Brien started, everyone didn't know about the guy from Late Night Conan O'Brien. He really got into the role. Maybe it might take Leslie Jones a few episodes to tone down, but she, it seemed like she never toned it down on SNL. But I give it a 6 out of 10. I might watch it a few, a few more times, but I'm just not that big of a Leslie Jones fan. So I hope you like this... Uh, Review of one. Until next time, please. Take care of my legion. I haven't done a TV show review in a while. Take care.